Hi everyone, this is Navya and I'm the Global Product Manager of MultiOne in Signify. MultiOne is a configuration software which is used to generate feature files and configure LED drivers in your production factories. We offer Windows-based solutions such as MultiOne Engineering and Workflow and cloud-based solutions such as MultiOne Cloud and Web. Lastly, we also have an in-field mobile application which is called MultiOne Mobile. You can choose the application that best fits your way of working for configuration. MultiOne Web is a browser-based application that is used to generate feature files and configure driver or a box of drivers. MultiOne Web offers similar functionalities as that of MultiOne Engineering with many more benefits. Some of these key benefits are, it eliminates the need for quarterly updates, you can enjoy improved configuration speed, it is at least two times faster. It offers a more user-friendly interface, uh, which is more intuitive and self-explanatory. It also enables additional functionality such as box configuration and copy-paste of configuration settings from one driver type to the other. Lastly, you can also access all the product specifications and data sheets directly through the web interface without having to visit multiple websites. Now let's see how MultiOne Web works. Start by entering the URL www.multi1.signify.com and then click on login slash register. If you are a new register, please click on register now, register yourself. And once you have your credentials, you can log in. Once you sign in, you enter the main screen of MultiOne Web where you can select a few options. As you see, we have read device, find and select device, and load feature file option. Today, we are going to focus on find and select device. So I'm going to click find and select device. What you can do here is access the device through a virtual database. So here we have a set of easy filtering options. So for example, you can filter the devices by region. So in my case, I'm going to choose Europe. EMEA. I want to see only outdoor drivers and only simple set NFC drivers. Once you have selected the required filters, you can also now filter out the columns that you require. You simply click on columns and here I'm going to uncheck a few boxes. So I would like to see 12NC product name datasheet link and few other parameters and I will uncheck the rest of the parameters and I hit confirm. So you only see the columns that you've selected. What you also can see is the direct link to the data sheet of the device. So you simply click on view data sheet and you enter the data sheet of the device directly through web interface. What you also can do is to compare two devices. So in my case, I'm going to choose an LP device and compare it with an FP device. I'm going to hit compare. And here I have a clear differentiation between the parameters. You can select the device that you require. Now, once I saw the differences, I will select the LP device and then you enter the main configuration page of the selected device. On this page, you have an overview of features that are supported by LP 40 watt driver. You can click the features that you would like to configure. So in my case, I want to configure AOC. So I'm going to set the value of AOC. What you also can do is to change the mode of your configuration page. So here I have set it to advanced mode, but you can also choose a standard mode. You get a more simpler UI display where you simply enter the values to set the configuration. Once you have set the right inputs, you either select save feature file or configure device as per your requirement. If you want to configure a large number of drivers in your production factory in combination with MultiOne workflow, then you can continue saving the feature file. If you have the physical driver with you already, then you can continue by clicking configure device. Lastly, I will show you how to set up your preferences. To do this, click on the person icon and select preferences. What's important to ensure here is to select the configuration file formats. We have two formats, 
feature file which is a .xml format used with current multi one workflow and dcf which is a .json format and will be used with the new multi one workflow as i want to use it with the current multi one workflow i will check the box to save file as feature file there are also a bunch of other options to select for example i want to remember the last selected columns and the last selected filter now your configuration is less time consuming and hassle free with multi one web thank you for watching and keep configuring with multi one